take you through my full work from home routine and share some ways I try to stay productive and get things done during my computer and task heavy days. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. I'll share more info about how I use Squarespace later in this video. I know I post a lot of vlogs where I share my day, but usually when I film those vlogs, I try to do more exciting things like bake or run errands because watching someone sit at their laptop all day gets kind of old. So this video will give a more insight on my work from home days and how I get things done to advance my business and my brand. There are also so many benefits to working from home, so I always try to stay grounded in all those work from home luxuries so I can keep my heart grateful and motivated. My day usually starts somewhere between 5.30 to 7 a.m. My husband wakes up around 5.15, so sometimes I'll wake up with him and make breakfast, but some days I'll sleep in a little longer until around seven. It really just depends on how I'm feeling that day and how much I need to get done. For me, mornings are actually when I feel the most productive, so I really try to maximize that time by waking up early. One of the first things I do when I wake up is splash my face with some cold water. Then I head to the kitchen to pour myself a nice cold glass of water. Now that it's summer, I've been keeping a pitcher of lemon mint water in our fridge, and I love to pour a refreshing glass so I can ensure I'm staying hydrated, and I love to do this first thing in the morning to make sure I get my water in before my coffee and lemon water actually has so many different health benefits. It's a great source of vitamin C and it's also said to aid digestion. So besides being super delicious, I love that it has those additional health benefits. I also love to turn on music as soon as I wake up and I usually opt for worship music because it always brings me a bit of peace and hope for my day and sometimes I'll blast it on our speaker but since my husband's been working from home more often, he's usually already working by the time I'm getting up and making my coffee so I usually opt to throw in my AirPods and just listen through my headphones. So as I'm sipping on my water, it's time to brew a cozy cup of coffee and I have been loving my French press lately and I always look forward to my morning coffee. So I love to brew this and bring it over to the couch and enjoy some quiet time. I spend some time praying, reading, having some still moments before I fully start my busy day. And I usually do this for about 30 minutes, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. It really just depends how it goes. But I have a whole video on how I spend my quiet time if you'd like to know all the details. So I'll link that in the description. some breakfast as well. I'm not someone who likes to eat breakfast right when I get up though, which my husband totally does that and I don't understand. I am just not that hungry right when I wake up. So I like to slowly sip on my coffee and then I'll have some breakfast. And on this particular day, I made breakfast really early because my husband was eating early. And so I already had my portion of eggs already cooked and ready to go. And I added some fresh avocado to my toast and prepped some grapefruit as well. This is one of my favorite breakfasts. It's so filling, so colorful and super delicious. After breakfast, I make our bed and start getting ready for the day. Take my breath away. In the last of love, I'm free. I surrender. When I work from home, I typically always change out of my pajamas because regular clothing definitely helps me feel more put together. And I usually only do my hair and makeup when I'm filming videos, but it really just depends on what's going on that day. But I usually always opt to change into cute and comfy dresses or loungewear sets. They are my go-to work from home uniform. So 
now that I'm all dressed and ready, I like to turn on our essential oil diffuser to create a pleasant aroma and atmosphere while I work. And then I head over to my little desk area. You'll notice that I love to move around throughout the day, but I typically start at my desk area because it's the easiest place to write down my to-do list and check my notes from the previous day. And it's just where I have all my pens and all that good stuff. So I start by getting organized and writing down all that I want to accomplish throughout the day. And I'm definitely a to-do list junkie. So I'm trying to make my tasks a bit more intentional because I'm that kind of person that will put every little thing on the face of the earth that I want to get done on one to-do list. So I'm trying to kind of prioritize more. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm so thankful and excited to be partnering with Squarespace because my website has actually played a huge role in growing my business and my brand. I first created my Squarespace website four years ago in 2016 when I was in college. I've had my site ever since and Squarespace has equipped me with a user-friendly platform to create a space where I can beautifully and visually share my thoughts, work, and my life. Having a website is such a powerful way to market yourself, especially these days, and you can really share all that you have to offer, and it's easy for people to access and quickly learn more about you. And Squarespace specifically has powerful blogging tools so that you can tell your story, share your updates, post photos, videos for your audience. You can also schedule your posts to make your life even more convenient. If you're interested in checking out more, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Allison Bakerstaff to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. I'm confident you will love Squarespace as much as I do. personally have been working on developing and creating some new products for my Magic Jewels hair shop and I already have my presets and merch listed on Squarespace but I also have some stationery coming out super soon so I've been working on logistics for that and I always have emails to answer, videos to edit, and brainstorming to do so that's usually the bulk of what my desk time consists of. crazy how fast time can go by when I'm sitting here and just editing and getting stuff done. So now it's time for a little lunch break and I love to keep some already prepped food in our fridge so I can grab some quickly without cooking a whole fancy lunch. And on this particular day, I had some veggie pesto salad and some hummus with carrots and pita chips. I usually will eat at my desk or at the couch, but sometimes I'll put a podcast on or a YouTube video while I eat just to kind of decompress and take a breather. After lunch, I work at my desk a bit more and then it's time for one of my favorite favorite daily moments, which is iced coffee time. If you watch my vlogs, you know we love iced coffee time. And I typically make a yummy iced coffee around 2 p.m. and it's always such a treat. Today I combined my leftover morning coffee with some cold brew and a little splash of vanilla draft latte. It's so delish and helps me combat my afternoon slump. to our bar area so I could stand up for a bit while I work. I 
wrap up my work day, I try to get a little movement in. Sometimes I'll go for a walk, a bike ride, do a full body workout or some yoga and stretches. There's so many incredible YouTubers who offer full workout and yoga routines. So I love to do those. And it's like I have my own personal trainer. Whenever I put one of those videos on the TV, I just love it. And on this particular day, I just did some stretching because on days where I sit at my desk so much, or the couch really, my lower back tends to ache. So I try to stretch it out after the work day. And after I finish my stretches, it's time to cook dinner, which is also one of my favorite times of the day. I truly love to cook and it helps me to kind of decompress after a full day, think about how the day went and it just feels really nice to use my hands to make something delicious. And while I cook, I love to listen to music or a podcast. I've also been loving listening to books on tape. I'm currently listening to the Harry Potter books and it's really been so much fun. On this night, I made buffalo cauliflower bites in our air fryer and they were so delicious. This was the second time I've made them, but they turned out way better this time. So I was really excited and I'll link the recipe below in case you wanna try to make them soon. But that's pretty much it for my work from home routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it provides some inspo. If you find yourself working from home as well, of course, every day looks different, but this is a little peek of how I spend my day and make the most of it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you all so much love and can't wait to see you super soon. Bye.